This is behind the counter at a local Japanese port side tuna shop. So today I'm two hours south of Tokyo in the Miura area and today is going to be a special one because I'm going behind the counter at this local Japanese tuna shop that's just portside and it goes way back three generations. I can't wait to get this one started but actually this story starts at 5 a.m. Good morning. This is the owner Takuya-san. And that's his daughter who also worked here. So today I'm taking you deep into the kitchen of their Maguro tuna specialty shop, Kurobate. Nestled for more than half a century in the heart of this local Japanese fisherman's town, Misaki Port. From their ultra fresh sashimi to their signature Maguro dishes, this hidden gem offers a dining experience with the freshest ingredients and passion infused local craftsmanship, all with a warm family vibe. It's so early, huh? What time did you sleep last night? What? Really? Damn, and you're still smiling. So Takuya quickly preps the storefront before going to the fish market. What time did you go to sleep last night? And you woke up at? Huh, so you really don't sleep then? <laughs> A man that loves his craft. Okay, nice, his son is going too. Every morning they go to the Misaki fish market, which is only five minutes away. The fish market has been the lifeblood of this port for over a hundred years and designed as a wholesaler market, you rarely see restaurant owners here. But Takuya and his family take exceptional pride in being able to select and serve the freshest and highest quality fish available to their customers. It's also where Takuya's grandfather made a name for himself as the number one Maguro fisherman in the industry during his time. So what are you checking? Cool. What is that? That's crazy. You can eat that too? So Takuya has been coming to the fish market now for over 20 years, slowly passing down the knowledge he gained from his father to his son and daughter, who will be the third generation to continue on the family business. I guess they're gonna try to buy that too. Now he goes to their freezer to pick up ingredients for their shop. Oh, it's for me? Thanks. How cold is the freezer? Yikes, I hope my camera survives. <laughs> so there's a minus 40 degree freezer, minus 76 degrees Fahrenheit for buyers to store their frozen tuna. Every week the shop buys two giant tuna, which is about 150 kilograms, 330 pounds. So he comes here in the morning to pick up the amount that they need so that they can start their special defrosting technique. The son and daughter are already back and they've started their morning prep. Do you sharpen your knives every day? Is that the only knife you have? Dang, that looks sharp! Now she's cutting the tuna's organs. So is it fun to work with your sibling? Oh, do you guys fight? <laughs> okay, so how old are you guys? <laughs> Did you always think you were gonna work here? Although she's still attending university as a senior, it's her plan to help continue on the family business. She says that although she could work at other places, she finds working with her family the most rewarding while also allowing her to pursue her various interests. And at the end of the day, she's grateful to have the support of her family. 
アジフライにしようかなって。While the two prepare in the morning, they usually talk about the fish that they saw at the market and plan how to include them in the day's menu. Now the shop prepares the head of the tuna. 眼球の方も美味しいんだけど鮮度がすっごいいいから後ろ側のこれをね刺身とかなめろ食べるとすっごい美味しいこれがマグロのあごって言います So in Japan it's an uncommon practice to eat the tuna's more unconventional parts like the throat and jaw but here in the Misaki area it's a local specialty often eaten in the home as it's a technique that was developed by their local fishermen during long voyages at sea the Japanese tuna fishermen would enjoy the lesser known parts that usually don't make it to market and would cook it with an international Culinary approach with spices gathered from their trips around the world, resulting in their own unique tuna fusion style cuisine. So, who taught you how to clean it? I was t a u g h t to clean it. I was t a u g h t to clean it. I was taught 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 to clean it. I was t a u g h t to clean it. A tuna head isn't something that you can easily purchase, which makes it a challenge for someone who wants to learn and master the technique. But the son says he's been fortunate working under the family business as he himself cuts at least one head every day, about 500 in a year. What's that water for? So she actually just got her wholesaler license this year. Apparently, though, a few days ago, she had a fairly serious talk with her father as he's been disappointed recently with her inability to purchase tuna and encouraged her to be more decisive in her bidding. So today, she's more determined than ever to come home with the one she wants. So, do you think you can do it today? <laughs> I hope so too. Thank you. So, this is the tuna auction. Misaki is known to be one of the biggest ports in Japan for frozen tuna. Fishing boats from around the world filled with tuna make their destination to this port. So, regardless of the season, 400 to 1,000 tuna are auctioned off here every day. And now she carefully inspects the tuna one by one. She started helping out the shop when she was 15, helping out in front, even memorizing the day's recommendations so she could better serve their customers, which further helped pique her curiosity and eagerness to know more about the fish that they were serving. She eventually convinced her father to take her to the fish market where she could see firsthand the lively exchange of the day's catch. She found herself captivated by the charm of the market and grew more appreciation for the small fisherman's town. Awesome, she got one! You're gonna go for another one? Break a fin? So, what happened? Oh no, I'm sorry! <laughs> Hey, like your dad says, it's a battle out there. You win some, you lose some. At the same time, on a different floor, the sun is bidding on the freshly caught fish. Hey, you must know all these people. Oh, okay, let's keep it quiet. So the son has been coming here since he was 18 years old. So he's already picked out which fish he's gonna bid for. But he says that it's one of the more challenging parts of his job since it's a silent auction, meaning he has to bid a high enough price so the shop doesn't come home empty handed, but careful not to bid too high where they don't make much money. So, how did you do? So, did you get all the fish you wanted? Oh, you don't know about all the fish? So, this is the first time I've been here. I've been here for the first time. So, I've been here for the first time. Ah, okay. And now, the menu is the menu. Meanwhile, Takuya prepares the various parts of tuna. 
That's Shirako. That's the heart. And that's a tuna roll, very similar to salmon roll, but even finer. It's not often that you get to see it. By the way, what do you think about your son continuing on the family business? The shop initially started out as a small bar serving tuna to the local fishermen. Takuya's father wanted to follow in the grandfather's path as a number one tuna fisherman, but due to his terrible seasickness, he wasn't able to. But he didn't give up. Inspired by his grandfather's stories of how tuna was eaten all around the world, his father dedicated himself to become the number one maguro chef, and the shop was born. It was only until later on when Takuya told his father that he wanted to follow in his footsteps as a chef that his father decided to expand the business into the shop it is now. Holy tuna ship, that looks good! What are you gonna do with it? Sounds phenomenal! So, what do you do on your day off? Really? Training. What do you do after that? Huh, do you travel? You must love your work. <laughs> do you have a favorite food other than tuna? <laughs> I like it too. So quickly, I want to tell you guys about the awesome people at Boksu who also sponsor this video. I know, I know that many of you have already subscribed, which is fantastic. But for those of you who don't know, I've been stacking on Boksu for years now, getting premium authentic Japanese treats delivered monthly to my front door, sourced from family businesses all throughout Japan. First time users will get a Seasons of Japan box, and after that, they'll get a theme box like this one. It's like they've roamed the back alley streets of Japan, going from small shop to shop, finding these delectable hitters. For sure, it's a perfect gift for yourself as well as the ones you love, especially for this holiday season. I'm loving this month's theme, Hokkaido Wonderland, especially this tasty Hokkaido white raspberry. And again, you and your friends and family can try it for yourself. So get $15 off your own authentic Japanese subscription snack box from Boksu by using my code of Paolo and link in the description. Hi, have you worked here a long time? Wow, about 30 years? <laughs> so, what do you do when you're not working? <laughs> oh, you like to drink? <laughs> Dang, that's crazy! Hi, how long have you been working here? Last week? Why'd you come back? Oh, that's nice. What did you do before this? Is it different now? So, what's changed? Ah, I see. So, how was your dad growing up? So you two are close? He says that his father could be a bit stubborn as he prefers the traditional ways. And it's sometimes a challenge to help him to understand new food trends. It's clear though that every member in the family has their own unique passion for the shop, each taking pride in their own individual tasks, but all working together to keep the business running. Oh, that's Takuya's dad, famously known as Oyaji. Without him, none of this would even exist. Hi, I'm from the US. <laughs> so, what do you do now? Sweet, where are they? Oh, can I see? Wow, he's taking me to a storage garage. Damn, that's massive. Where do you sell it? Hotels? Where then? Ah, that makes sense.
heavy no monster. Apparently, he starts with driftwood and carves it into a Buddha or other designs, adding that the core principle of what he does as a sculptor is similar to when he was a chef, basically working tirelessly to create something amazing out of raw materials that sadly many people don't end up valuing. <laughs> Wow, it does get shiny. How did the rest of the bidding go? Around 10.30, they take a short breakfast break called Makanai, where the shop provides the workers food, which is usually purchased from the market that day. Nakuya and his family take advantage of this meal by testing out new ingredients and exploring new dishes that could possibly be served at the shop as they believe it's important for the future of their business. Hello! Ah, more workers are here! You guys don't eat with them? I'm okay. You're nice. Oh, I guess they're done eating already. Hey, do you like fishing too? <laughs> okay. So, do you like manga or anime? Have you been watching anything lately? Right before the shop opens, the sun cleans another tuna head, and as many of their customers know this, they'll happily come early and wait in line while watching him as he hones his craft. And now the shop is finally open, so the kitchen takes it up another level. Wow, that looks amazing! What is it? So it's a hidden menu item. Not surprised though since it's such a local shop. Oh, Takuya is explaining the dish one by one to the customer. He says that some of Misaki's local dishes using tuna innards are sadly slowly disappearing. These were once commonly home-cooked dishes served at the dining table of local fishermen. But these days, the younger generation shows little interest in learning these recipes. The shop though continues to serve the cuisine in hopes of preserving the local area's heritage. <laughs> Everybody's so busy, so let's talk to a customer. Hi, how was your food? <laughs> oh, and what's your favorite? <laughs> so what do you think? You'll come back? <laughs> Thanks. Now the shop prepares food for takeout, but for pickups only as deliveries are unavailable in the area. Whoa, that's a boatload! How much is it? Damn, that's a good deal! Oh, something's happening. I guess it's never a dull day at this shop. What happened? Well, glad you got it fixed. After the lunchtime peak, the shop slightly slows down and the workers take turns on breaks. Hi, have you worked here for a long time? Oh, how did you know about this place? Ah. What do you two do together? And are you a university student as well? Oh, what are you studying? Ah, so what do you want to do in the future? Good luck! 
Hey, you live upstairs? Ah, okay. Did you get some rest? Huh, what do you mean? Oh, that sucks. What did you say to her? I'm sure she's on the right path, and her father only wants the best for her. It's all family love. And that's another one in the books. If you'd like to visit this shop for yourself, I'll be sure to leave a link in the description. Also, if you're looking for more holiday gift ideas, don't slip on my Paolo from Tokyo Premium Kamenetti Hot Sauce, made only in Japan. Get that fire and umami at paolofromtokyohotsauce.com. Okay, so that's behind the counter at a local Japanese tuna shop. If you guys like this video, like always, help me out and hit that like button. If you guys want to help support the channel, check out the merch. And if you guys want to see more videos like this or anything related to Japan, hit that subscribe button and the bell button. I'll catch you guys in the next one.